Hey everybody, welcome. Thank you guys for popping in. My name is Michael Carter from the website moneymike.com and um, we're just getting started here. <clears throat> now, for those of you that, uh, you know, you have websites, you have blogs, well, you do something online, right? You're trying to bring traffic in. Um, you need to be able to rank your websites through extra effort. Okay, so that's really what we're talking about. And ideally, what you want to start doing, you have to start going the extra mile uh, to separate yourself from the pack. Okay, so in uh, one of my previous scopes, I actually discussed um, SEO and the power of quality backlinks. Um, guys, this is no secret, okay, that high authority, right, can give you a tremendous boost in the rankings of any website. Okay, that impact um, can be no, uh, really more noticeable on video rankings, okay, because videos, they tend to be easier to rank than actual websites. So right now, I'm really gonna discuss um, extra strategies and techniques that you guys can use to boost your rankings um, and use that in a you know synergistic way. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there's, um, there's little things that, you know, honestly, most webmasters and businesses, they tend to overlook when it comes to SEO. Um, it's about going the extra mile, which makes you guys impossible to ignore in the eyes of the search engines. Okay, now the majority of SEO that's discussed on the internet, okay, it has to do with off-page SEO, right? So this includes, of course, backlinks, uh, social signals, um, online reviews, and, and any kind of reference to your site from an outside source, right, if that makes sense. Now, trying to manipulate these outside factors, okay, usually it's a lot of work and I honestly, I would suggest you don't even bother doing that, right? In most cases, uh, trying to manipulate off-page SEO, uh, it's gonna land you in some trouble, okay? And the search engines, they wanna see that SEO is occurring naturally, okay? It's gotta look natural. And the moment that you guys try and, you know, pull one over or, you know, fool the search engines, that's the moment that you become dangerously close to receiving uh, a severe penalty, right? And it could be more than just a slap on the hands. Um, so we talk about um, on-page SEO. Um, you know, this is all the stuff that, that you guys can, can control instantly, okay? And it revolves around how you present your website, okay? However, okay, you can still receive penalties, of course, through incorrect on-page optimization. Now, if you guys remember back in 2011, um, Google released an update uh, to their search results with their, you know, their algorithm, and that uh, penalized sites that had low quality content. Okay, and honestly, this wasn't such a bad thing. Um, you know, it was mostly directed at spammers, right? Those darn spammers that were pumping out huge amounts of duplicate content using automation. Now, you know, these type of sites, they really provide very little value, okay? And it has, um, you know, basically they were, you know, just to get links out, just to make money. And, you know, your goal is to always, you wanna be providing value, guys. So these, these sites, they have just low or little, no value at all. Um, so, you know, that indication there should be telling you guys, you gotta be putting out value, right? Quality content. and I'll give you guys some tips that you guys can use really immediately to improve your on-page SEO and start getting those rankings above your competition. Okay, so you wanna be placing your keywords in the URL of your web page. okay? Now don't go overboard, don't go crazy, okay? Just like two or three major keywords, right? So for instance, um, you know, yoursite.com slash, you know, ranking hyphen websites. Right? So use the primary keyword that you're ranking for at the beginning of your post or your page title. Okay, not only does this give really a clear signal to Google about what your post is about, um, it also will entice a higher click-through rate from the, the search results. Okay, also extend your title into a long tail keyword. 
right? So the first step to ranking for a major keyword is to rank and extract traffic from that long tail version, right? So for example, um, if you look at uh, weight loss, right? That could be your primary keyword. Well, you know, weight loss for men over 40, okay? That could be your long tail, right? So you're aiming to attract traffic for the keywords like weight loss, weight loss for men, and weight loss for men over 40, right? So you wanna also optimize your page uh, for reducing bounce rates, okay? So guys, bounce rates, um, this is important because uh, the bounce bounce rates are the measurement um, as a percentage of people that, you know, they come to your website and there's something they don't like and they bounce off, they leave your website, right? So the best way to prevent people from bouncing off your page, okay, is to have really high quality engaging content that consists of you know images and videos, right, and also diagrams. Okay, really important. Um, you know, it goes without saying that you know the written content must be great. Okay, you can't be slacking off. Um, now, search engines they love plenty of content. Okay, in the form of text. Right. So the more um, you know, uniquely written content that you have on your page. Um, the better off you're going to be and the better for your rankings, especially if you have numerous keywords, right? Um, now, all other things being the same, um, you know, on two different websites, guys, the site that has more, you know, good written content is going to outrank the other, right? Now, you know, and that, that won't necessarily happen immediately, but over time. Um, now, you want to aim to have your posts and your articles between around 500 to 1500 words in length. Now, here's the thing, I know some people are like, oh man, really? Like 1500? Listen, the longer the better. Um, you know, as long as you have that quality there, the longer the article, the better. Um, now, of course, there's other things you have to have, you know, links within it that make sense. Um, you know, you put yourself in the shoes of a visitor that's visiting um, for a subject that you, you know, happen to have on your blog, right? And you have to put yourself in the visitor's shoes, right? Does this make sense? Is this quality? Is this enriching my life? Is it solving a problem, right? The more quality content that you guys have, when they arrive on your site, the happier they're going to be with their discovery, okay? And that's just overall good for your site and good for your rankings. Um, so is your website responsive in design? Okay, this nowadays is really important. Okay, sites that are, are mobile responsive, they automatically will get a boost from search engines and especially Google itself. Um, you know, providing a great user experience is it's all part of satisf uh, satisfying visitors with mobile devices, okay? Because m most of us now are on our mobile devices um, all the time. <clears throat> okay. Now you also want to link out to relevant sources. Okay. The more outbound links that you have on your site, um, the more SEO points that you win from the search engine. Okay. Now for years, okay, previously, uh, webmasters, they would actually restrict outbound links, um, because they wanted to protect their, their link juice that they had. Okay. And they didn't want that overflowing, um, out to other sites. These days, okay, things have changed, right? That's why things change so much. Um, the links, you know, that you point your site to, okay, they're almost as important as the links that you receive as backlinks, okay? So, you know, really providing important and relevant references to outside sources that sends signals to Google that, you know, you're the real deal, okay? And you're an authority in your niche, okay? Also, you know, use internal cross-linking. Okay, so what, you know, what, what this means is you want to link to words and phrases um, that are inside your posts to other relevant pages on your website. Okay, so you basically, um, you kind of want to offer like a buffet of information to your visitors. And again, uh, you know, by doing this, Google will separate you from other sites because um, a lot of sites, they have no depth, right? People haven't put that effort in um, to to create that quality content. <clears throat> also, you want to optimize your website for speed, 
okay? There's many things um, within the code of your site, guys, that you can use to increase the speed of loading. This is really important. Uh, way too many to list right now, but just know, um, start improving the load times of your site, okay? Now, the greatest thing uh, that you guys can do to increase the speed of your website, okay, you wanna optimize the images that load on your posts and pages, okay? So here's the thing, obviously you don't wanna diminish, um, you know, the image quality too much, right? You still wanna have decent, decent looking images, um, but minimize for the smallest size possible, okay? It's really important. Um, so the next thing guys, use LSI keywords throughout your pages. Now, LSI keywords, they're basically uh, synonyms, okay? They, and they provide a variation and greater detail uh, to the search engines regarding your content. Okay, so for instance, um, you know, losing weight for women. Okay, females drop extra pounds. Um, fat loss for the ladies, right? This type of thing. Now, this all leads up to something cool, guys. The product that I have for you guys today is called WP Tag Machine. Okay, so what is WP Tag Machine? Okay, this, uh, Tag, like tags in WordPress, they're one of the key factors, okay, to rank your sites. Okay, and, and here's the thing, 99% of bloggers and website owners seem to ignore them completely because I think people are just inherently lazy, right? They don't bother with them. And, you know, they know finding good tags, um, you know, that are relevant, it takes some time to do that. And people are so impatient these days that, you know, they just they just move on and they and they and they ignore this key factor. Um, so that's where WP Tag Machine comes in. This is a WordPress plugin, guys, um, and it finds you literally hundreds of highly relevant tags for your blog posts and your content um, that you can add in, boom, in one click. Okay, very very simple. Um, this can get you hundreds of keywords ranking in the search engines very quickly. So here's what you get, guys. Um, so with this, okay, add unlimited tags to unlimited posts. Okay, you can also find tags, okay, from the number one traffic source, which is Google. Right, you can find long tail tags that help you rank higher. Okay, you get multiple tags to your posts in one click, guys. It's such a simple process. Um, you can use WP Tag Machine for keyword research. Okay, use multiple keywords to find tags for your posts. You can download tags into a uh, CSV or a text file if you want and do that, boom, in one click. Um, unlimited tag searches for your site. You can use this plugin on unlimited WordPress sites. Okay, you can check out, there's a really cool product demo um, and you guys can see the amazing results that this plugin gets. Um, now the guy that created this program, um, most of you, I'm sure know Anchor Shukla. Um, he's the man behind this plugin, and listen, he's no stranger when it comes to creating awesome WordPress plugins. Um, Anchor, I mean, he shines really a bright light on the SEO industry. Um, he gives us tools that really can help separate yourself, um, you know, you and your website from your competition. And you know, literally, there's millions and millions of websites out there. They're all competing for rankings in the search engines and free traffic. So, um, you know, every little single advantage really adds up, guys. And I, I guarantee that, you know, uh, website owners, they're not paying attention to these tricks. I'm telling you right now, you guys have the inside information uh, so you can do much better with your rankings. Um, I feel, honestly, this is one of those essential WordPress plugins uh, for anybody that has a WordPress blog or website. And let's face it, nowadays, it is the majority of people out there. So um, if you guys want to check this out, I will show you a link for WP Tag Machine. Also, keep in mind, this actually launches on June 28th. Okay, June 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Okay, so here's the link. Just go here to moneymike.com slash WP hyphen tag hyphen machine. Okay. So write that down, guys. Take note of that. Take a picture of it. Do whatever you have to do, but take note of that URL. And um, so hold that note for a second. If you guys want to get entered into my cash contest, 
Okay, if you purchase through my link here, um, all you have to do is email me your PayPal receipt. Okay, send that to mike at moneymike.com. I'll get it. You'll get entered into the contest where one very lucky person is going to win $102 cash. Okay, so awesome deal. So to find that, you just go to youtube.com slash moneymike.com. Okay, that's it, guys. This is WP Tag Machine. Awesome program. Awesome plug-in. It's going to help you guys tremendously. So go and check it out. That's it for me. This is Money Hacks at 8 p.m. I'm Michael Carter from moneymike.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, who's got my money?